This tutorial will run through the interlibrary loan process using a union catalog. I'm logged into a library and will request an item from another library. Start the process by clicking the ILL tab on your OPAL screen and choose My Requests. Once you have chosen My Requests, you will be directed to the union catalog used by your schools. You will log into the union with your assigned credentials, i.e. your username and password. You will notice that the union knows what library you are at and you simply need to enter in your username and password. Your library and district are already filled in. Once logged into the union, you can search for the item you are requesting. Here is a way to restrict your search to one school or a district as needed. Click the Select Location button and you will have a pop-up window that you can set up where you would like to request your item from. For this tutorial, I'm at Cornwall Elementary and will choose the Orange Ulster BOCES School Library System as my system, Cornwall as my district, and Cornwall High School as the library. Once you make your choices, click OK at the bottom. Please note that you could choose a district and leave the library option to all. Or for that matter, you could also leave the district as all to search a wider geographic area with more libraries available. I have chosen Orange Ulster BOCES as my system, Cornwall School District as my district, and Cornwall High School as I know they have the item I will be needing to borrow. I will now search the union, and in this case specifically Cornwall High School, for the item I need for a teacher at my school. I will use a title search and enter in my search. I have searched the title and have found the record to be requested. I see that the library has one copy of the item. And if needed, I can take a look at the details of the item by clicking the Details button. The Details screen also provides the opportunity to formally request an ILL for the item. I will close the Details window and click Request ILL on the main display page. Either way is fine. I have clicked Request ILL, and now I will need to fill out a form for my request. I will need to put a check mark in the responders field. Note that if I had chosen a wider area of libraries, I may see more libraries on this list that have the book, and then you can choose which library you will request the item from. In this case, it is simply Cornwall High School, so I will put a check mark next to responders. One copy is all I need, and that is all that the high school has, so I can just leave it at one. The expiry date is where you can note that your request will expire after a certain date. Perhaps the teacher has said that they will not need the item after a certain date. I will enter in November 30th as my expiry date. Please note, and I think this is important, borrower IDs and the names of patrons cannot appear in the same electronic message. This covers emails as well as other electronic media such as ILL forms. The user could place the borrower ID in the message for reference but no other information. This is not really a library policy or an ILL policy but it is New York State law. Based upon New York State law I will only enter in the borrower ID on this form. It can still be useful when you receive the item as you can look up the borrower ID in your OPALS system. You can add a public note as well as a private note that only the requesting library will see. I will enter in a note that this is for testing purposes only. Librarians use the notes field frequently to alert libraries that the books they are sending have damage or that there's a certain time frame that the book needs to be back to the library at or 
are requested by, etc., etc. I have filled out the ILL request form and now will click Submit Request. Once the request has been submitted, the ILL is recorded in the union and the library I am making my request from will receive an email. Once the request has been submitted, you will see the ILL ID and a note that the request has been emailed. At this point in the tutorial, I will need to change to the Cornwell High School Library to fill the request. I have received an email alerting me to the ILL request and will begin the process of filling this request. I am logged into the Cornwell High School Opals and have received an email alerting me to the ILL request. I will begin by clicking the ILL tab and choose ILL Responses. I will log into the Union Catalog and begin the process of filling this request. I am logged into the Union and will click ILL and then click Responses. As soon as I click Responses, I see a listing of current and older requests. The request from the elementary school is at the very top. Click the ILL ID on the far left to begin filling the request. You will see that the request is currently unfilled and you will see other details such as the requesting library, the date of the request, and any other notes that were added by the requesting library. To fill the request, click Fill at the bottom of the screen. Scan in the barcode from the item, add a due date as needed, and any notes you wish to include on this form. Once finished, click OK at the bottom. This last step will generate a packing slip to go with the item you are filling. Once again, scan the barcode from the item and put a check mark in the box to the left of the information at the bottom of the form. Then click OK at the far bottom right. On this screen, you can print your packing slip and then pack the item to be shipped with the packing slip to be sent to the requesting library. You have completed the filling of this request. I am back at the Cornwall Elementary Library and will create a temp record in order to loan the item out to the person from my building who requested the ILL item. Click the ILL tab and choose Add ILL Temp Record. Enter in the barcode or the ILL number found at the top of the packing slip. Once you verify that this record is for the item in hand, go to the bottom of the record and scan in the barcode off the item. I recommend using the barcode that is on the item itself, that is on the book from the lending library, as it makes the loaning and checking in easier. The last step will be to click Save New Record at the bottom. The item is ready to be loaned out to the teacher. I will now loan the item out to the teacher who requested the book. And for purposes of this tutorial, I will check it back in rather quickly. Typically, the item will be out for more than one minute. Regardless, this will illustrate the process of receiving the item, checking it out to a patron, a student, a teacher at your school, checking it back in, and returning the item to the lending library. I am in circulation and have brought up the teacher to loan out the ILL item. The item has been checked out. I have now received the item and will check it back in and then begin the process of returning the ILL item back to the lending library.
To return the item to the lending library, go to the ILL tab and choose Request or Return. Scan in the barcode from the item itself or the ILL ID from the packing slip. Verify that this is in fact the correct item and click Continue at the bottom. We are now back at the Union Catalog and will log in to formally return the item. Once logged in, the record for this ILL that is being returned comes up automatically. Go to the bottom of the record and choose Return. Please note that there are other options to choose such as Request Renewal, Report Lost, Print Slip. Scan in the barcode from the item and put a check mark in the box to the left of the text shown here. You can add a public note and a private note as needed. Click OK at the bottom when finished. You will notice that the status of the item is now returned in transit. You have sent back the item and as the borrowing library, you are finished. To complete the entire process, the lending library will receive the item. We are now back at the lending library and are logged into Opals. Go to the ILL tab and click Respond or Receive, and then enter in the ID from the packing slip or the item's barcode. Verify that this record is for the item in hand and click Continue at the bottom. You will be brought back to the Union Catalog, and once logged in you will have the record come straight up. You can receive the item by clicking Receive at the bottom. You will notice that the item status prior to receiving it on the far right side of the bottom is Returned in Transit. Once you have formally received it, the status will change to received. Clicking Receive brings up the final form to fill out. Scan in the barcode from the item and put a check mark in the box to the right of the text, as shown here. Add any notes as needed and then click OK bottom right of this small window. Your item has been received and the ILL process has been completed.